so we've finally given a name to Blue Super Beetle number four. Uh, he has a name, his name is Krieger. And the Archer fans in the crowd rejoiced. Anyway, uh, before I can think about putting an engine back in Krieger, uh, this beetle has absolutely no brakes at all. Um, naturally, after sitting since 2004, the foot brakes are completely toast. The rubber seals in the top of the master cylinder have perished, so any brake fluid leaks straight out. But, unfortunately, it doesn't even have a handbrake that works anyway. Very common problem with these beetles is uh, snapped handbrake cables. But, for now, we have a pair of new handbrake cables because I always replace them in pairs because uh, they do stretch over time and you want them stretching evenly and also if this one snapped uh, good chance the other one won't be far behind so not a difficult job uh, the biggest hurdle is uh, getting the axle nut to undo now given this car has sat in a forest for a very long time uh, these ones may put up a lot of fight I'll try the rattle gun on them first, but if that fails, then uh, out comes Big Bertha and a bit of heat never fails. Okay, so split pin is out. Got a bit of uh, WD-40 on there soaking in. Let's try take one with the rattle gun and see what happens. I'm not expecting it to move, but you never know. Now, neither axle... Uh, on a beetle is reverse thread, uh, so they're both lefty loosey righty tidy. So as I suspected it is really tight and rusty so just try a little bit of heat first uh, maybe a crack with the big breaker bar so my camera battery decided to die in the middle of that section uh, was having no luck with the rattle gun so plan B is always bolt the helper bar to two of the axle bolts the big three quarter inch breaker bar and me jumping on it and it finally cracked so just waiting on that nut to cool down now so I can take it off so the next fun part is getting the drum off the axle uh, usually they're a bit rusted on there tight uh, this one's certainly not going anywhere a few different ways you can do it uh, don't be tempted to just get a hammer and bang around because you will fracture the drum like someone's done there before um, hasn't quite ruined the drum but it's not good for them either so easiest way if it's not too tight is to just bolt the wheel back on and grab the wheel on the outside and wriggle usually that'll get it off next best option is a uh, wheel puller uh, like that um, and that will always get it off but uh, a lot of people won't have that so I'll just try and demonstrate the wheel pulling with the wheel first see if that gets it off And there it is off. Wow, these shoes are worn. <laughs> uh, see how much meat is left on them there. Should be a bit more like that. <laughs> anyway, here's our handbrake cable. Just on a hook on this lever. So 
So that just needs unhooking, but got a mount which bolts in from the other side, clamping it in position first. Now my next step, if this cable wasn't snapped, would be to undo these two lock nuts just here. Uh, but because this cable snapped, there's nothing holding it in place, so it will pull straight through. But they're just two 10mm uh, lock nuts. Very simple to remove. Um, so I've managed to unhook that from there. My next stop is this little retainer bracket thing, which removes from the underside via that 13mm bolt there. So with that bolt out, it just takes a bunch of jiggling to get the... Alright, so there's that piece out. And then your cable just pulls out through the hole. So now, depending how rusty it is, it should pull out of there, but that's really... I don't know. There it goes. So, because this cable snapped, It'll just pull out nice and easily. And there's our snapped off end there. Can be a little bit tougher to pull out with the threaded rod on the other end. So now it's a case of feeding that one in. And I've got to remove the handbrake lever. So just before I go any further, I'll just explain another little situation that commonly arises uh, when either a handbrake cable snaps or stretches uh, it allows the handbrake lever to pull up further than it's meant to travel and you'll often see people on Facebook and forums and such saying uh, their handbrake button shot out the end and what happens is when the lever gets to its full extension, the ratchet runs out, and there goes your button. And a lot of people panic that something's broken, but it's only a matter of putting it all back together. That little hook there is actually meant to go around this part, but when it's spun 180 degrees, very simple to put back together. Now, normally there is two circlips either side on this pin, but at some point in this car's life, they've gone missing, and someone has drilled a hole through either side and put split pins in. Now, the one on this side is conveniently already missing, but um, luckily the pin isn't rusted in, so that pin just pops out like so, and our whole mechanism without dropping the ratchet part into the tunnel, lifts up. Now, well, someone's welded this back together. It's interesting. <laughs> uh, that little slot there locks into the tunnel tray. Oh yeah, got a piece welded on there as well. So if you're in Australia and ordering for a 73 onwards L bug or 1300 beetle, that's the part number you want. So I've fed the new cable into the conduit, I've put a bit of grease inside, that's a bit too messy to film, and it's just sticking through here, so the next step is to fit the retainer bracket. Now the important part when fitting this is to make sure that this little tab at the top is inserted into the hole first, is actually sitting on the inside of the brake backing plate down in there. So that bracket's back in place, the bolt's in the other side, you can see that little tab sticking through. Important to make sure that washer there is on this side of it, that gives the spring something to push against. So now just got to get that uh, you may find with some cheaper aftermarket ones the casting can be pretty bad so you may need to file off any dags in there that just needs to hook onto there push some excess through first hook is on I haven't 
fully put it in there yet because I need a bit, a bit of slack in it to pull it through here. So there's our new cable. It's trying to go underneath here, so just have to get some pointy nose pliers down in there. Slide it back just enough to pull it up through like that. Okay, so now I can put it all together at the other end. So now to put the lever in, you can see the two tracks there that the cables need to sit in. So as that is inserted down, you need to make sure they're sitting in that groove. Now unfortunately new cables don't come with new nuts. And that sucks because the nut is actually a specialised part. It's got a rounded base on it. That's so it seats properly in that tapered hole there. So I've just uh, salvaged the old ones off the uh, broken cable. And uh, just a case of putting both cables through the bar and putting the nuts on. So everything's back together and Krieger now has a working park brake. Not perfect, but uh, it'll do while we carry out the body works until I can rebuild the brake system on this car. Um, I've got a lot to do. We'll need a new master cylinder, all new flexible hoses. Uh, the front discs are pretty good, so they'll just need a skim and new pads. Uh, got new shoes on the back and fit that uh, right hand side uh, new cable. Alright guys, thanks for watching.